Okay, the cruise ship is moving sideways off the dock. They don't need any tugboats. See, there's four tugboats right here, but they're not using any. Now, one tugboat just went out. And you can see it's moving very, very slow. Okay, there's two ships into the oil dock. One came in last night and one came in sometime this morning. And these other two white ship and gray ship are still here docked. I don't know what they do here. I don't know how many tugboats have gone out to the port, but there was 1,300 passengers on this ship, and it holds over 3,000. And it's slowly moving out. I'm only going to take it a little ways. I'll take about 10 minutes on this video, and then I'll go to another. One. All right, now. Over on the other side, over here, there's a container ship going out. Okay, there's no tugboats on the other side over here. There's usually four over there, too. And there's none there. So there's got to be at least two on this ship that's going out this container ship. Now this ship may, this cruise ship may have to wait for the other ship to go through because it's out in the main channel and this one isn't. And it's not moving now at all. Okay, 1,300 passengers on this cruise ship that holds over 3,000. And also, everybody to go ashore had to be tested for COVID to go into the town. And they also had to have their three shots. They had two regular shots and their booster shot. And they had to have proof of that. And they had to have that before they got on the ship. Now they let people on there that didn't have any shots at all because the cruise lines operate a little bit different. And that's why they were always in trouble. Always, they call them sick boats. But anybody that didn't have proof of the shots had to stay on the ship and the buses they went around and toured and they went each bus went to a different restaurant now I don't know if those people had to be tested before they got onto the buses but they had a tent set up right where the buses were loading up there uh, between these two you can see the top of the tent That's the tents where they were doing the testing. And the buses pulled up right to that tent, those tents. And that's where they did all the testing. So I think everybody had to be tested to leave the ship. And I know down here, I saw them this morning, and they were, t they were taking their temperature before they went through the gate. And also when they went back through the gate to get on, this afternoon when I pulled back in, I saw them taking their temperatures also. So they were pretty stuck out. See, this cruise ship had to wait for the, the ship that was in the channel to go by. Now, it'll probably have to wait so long for this ship that's in the channel. Now, this... The tug should break away from it right there. Yeah, this one is. Now the cruise ship is moving again. Hi, sir, sir. Hi, how you doing, sir? Are you taking a picture, sir? 
there's a guy selling seashells and he's been trying to get me to buy some a package of them for 10 pesos which is a good deal but I just don't think I need to buy any when I can go to the beach and pick them up now there goes the container ship now that container ship is not full like a lot of them are I'd say it's only do you want me to take a picture sir? half to three get out of here what? I bet you told me that I tried to help you I don't need it he's trying to help me he was going to walk in front of the camera and I told him to get out of here. There's a pilot boat out there that's going back in. Little red and white boat. Yep, they've left the container ship. It's on its own now. Ruby Princess. But the container ship is still moving on out on the other side of the breakwater. There's a tugboat behind it. I don't exactly know what the tugboat's doing. Now there's a lot of uh, current behind the cruise ship, so evidently he's he's moving now. You can see it churning the water up behind it. He'll have to clear the pier to make a swing. And I don't see any other ships coming out of the port down there where all the cranes are. So he's on his own now and there goes the container ship right there just going behind this ship that's here there's an oil tank on. now he's moving out now and he's swinging Yep, he's turning now. He's got his back end clear of the dock and he's swinging it. Now we'll be able to see the other side of the ship. There we go. He's swinging it. I'm trying to talk louder because everybody told me that I was too low on my videos. So I'm actually almost screaming. Over here they had a fire truck that was at the ship by where they were uh, doing the testing. And he's leaving now with his red blinking lights. There we are, there's the cruise ship. Turned around. And that's as big as my zoom is on this. Now I'll show you how close I am to the edge of the dock. 
there's the edge of the dock right there. And I've been standing in the shade of a, of a kind of a statue, kind of something. And I'm standing right on the edge of the dock, <clears throat> and the water's about 20 feet below me. 15, 20 feet. Okay, as soon as I can get the whole ship in the middle of that, I'm going to shut it off. Because I'm over 10 minutes now. And you can see all the lifeboats on the side. They've all got red kind of sides on them. They're white with red. Not going to go much further. Now he will go out over here. And if you look through between these ships, there's a container ship coming in right now. They're averaging four container ships a day. So that's what the tugboats went out for earlier. Okay, there he is, completely clear. And that's the end of my video. That's zoomed in all the way.